Hello everybody, welcome back to 2K21. We are doing the final spotlight challenge of this set. The Junior Bridgman Triple Threat Challenge. So, in this one, it is a game of Triple Threat. You are going up against three pretty good players. It seems like they're all pretty small. Like, Bridgman's a small forward, Ben Gordon's a point guard, shooting guard, and Jerry Stackhouse is a small forward. But, we are not going to be using what they're using. We're going to be using what I normally run. A one, a one, a two or three, and a four or five. So these are car the cards we're going to use. We're going to use the new J.R. Smith card, and we're going to use the new Porzingis card. I literally just got him right after the last video for about 15, 17K or something. Something really low. So we're going to be reviewing all three of these cards. It's just 70 points. There is no overall challenge that we need to do. So it'll be fun. We can test each card for everything. So there are three... They're mid, they're dunks, how can they drive, what are their layups, are they dunking on everyone? And they didn't lie. Last time, it was the one game and it didn't even say who they were really using. So, ooh, Bridgman is uh, running the point. That's fine. And <laughs> J.R. Smith is against Bridgman. I didn't know Bridgman was so undersized. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So, first impressions, Junior Bridgman's dribbles are not bad. He does play like Kyrie is what I would describe him as. His jump shot is a little bit weird, but it's not so bad that you're like, I don't want to... Why didn't it switch to Porzingis? It's, it's not a bad card. I think it, it's, it's, it's decent. It's for, for the stats that it says it has, it's pretty nice. As you can see from that... He can dunk it, which is good. Ooh, that was not good. That is not good. All right, let me try. Let me try to see what his half spin be doing. Oh, his half spin is lethal. His half spin is lethal. His interior is kind of weak. His mid isn't bad. I, I don't like it when he shoots his threes, though. Overall, he's not a bad card. Is he expensive to get? Yes. And I don't even think I spent 100k on all four cards, so... For a pink diamond that you technically can't buy, is he expensive? Not really. Is he worth buying all the other cards? I didn't like Stackhouse even slightly. I'm not gonna lie. And the other cards were so cheap that I don't care if you buy them or not. I would recommend you do. But you don't have to. Just play the D. Play the D. Play the D. Guard him up. So there's a lot of points we have to score. So, what I think I will do is get to 10, skip to 20, and then I'll start my review on one of the other cards, and I might just dominantly go for Bridgman. So he'll score 20, and then I'll go with J.R. Smith and have him score 20, and then Porzingis score 20, and then the last 10 points just do what it do. Oh, yes. Oh, he's got takeover. Nah, I don't like driving. That's fine. Oh, that's a nice dunk. All right, so I will see you once we hit 20 points when we will start our review on JR Spliff. All right, we hit 20 pretty easily, pretty quick. I mostly just went for driving. Bridgman's mid's actually kind of money, not going to lie. It's not terrible. It's not great. His takeover is not bad. I'm not gonna lie, he does feel kind of slow, which is what normally happens when you get these older cards. They do just feel slow, like, they're, they, he just doesn't feel quick, which is fair, because he's a sh shooting guard small forward, he shouldn't feel fast. But, let's get into the Henny God. Oh! There's one thing that I like, is J.R. Smith cards. Golds, diamonds, doesn't really matter to me. I'll take a whatever, because his release is so nice every year. There's nothing I can complain about. Which, I need to test out his dribbles now. Oh, uh, stop, JR. His release is so money, it don't matter if you shoot rim Limitless Range or not. It's, it's a green. I know his cards are always really cheesy, because I had somebody pull up like two feet in front of half court with him, and they greened it. And I was like, that's so dumb. And his dribbles are so quick. 
that it's really, it's hard to stop J.R. Smith because he's just that nice. I'm going to go for two drives so you can see what that's like. Ooh, he did not get what I wanted him to do. All right, let's post. Oh, that was bad. I didn't even do anything. We're going to have to do the half spin. You know, the half spin test is to see how good their dribbles really are. Bridgman passed the half spin test. He did not pass the dribble test. Well, he sort of did. He has really good movement dribbles, but a lot of people aren't doing the dribbles to move just left or right. It's more to get open, create space, get a better shot. But, this J.R., I like him. I like him a lot. What'd I get him for? I don't know. I didn't... I don't know. I think I, I said it in a previous video. I don't think I got him for crap ton. Ooh, Andy's like, he's sleek around the rim, too. I like it. I like it. A lot. It was very nice. I like this J.R. Smith card. If you can get him for cheap, which I think he is going for cheap, I'm going to say under 35000 which is a lot. It is a lot. But this card could make your best squad, your unlimited squad, better. I think you're a cheese ball if you use them in limited. But I will see you when we hit 40 points. And we will start our Porzingis review. Alright, we hit 40. Time to review Porzingis. Porzingis is a card I already know doesn't have good handles. Which I don't really care because he's a power forward center 7 3. Like, his weird crossover is good enough for me and he's so tall uh, travel. darn it what to say he's so tall you can really shoot over somebody and it doesn't feel like you're it's like oh I shouldn't shoot this uh, he's a big man no his lower rated cards you're not hitting anything with and it's because the rating is just bad and his shot is weird but the higher overall you get for Perzingis the better the card is because one, you use him, and then they can't cheese on their center and just sit in the paint because he can pop a three just as good as your point guard can. The price I got him for, I think he had buy now is going for like 30, 40 K. That is cheaper than cheap. I recommend getting Porzingis if you can get him for that cheap. He's a very good card. He can really guard the three through the five. So if you run him at power forward and somebody just has a really good small forward in, you can just switch him on, and he'll do it for you. That was a bad shot. That's okay, though. Nah, that was bad. That was bad. I should not have done that. I need to take it in and see what I can do post-wise, because they don't have any guards, so... I can test his stuff for what it is, if he was alone. And not, this is what he would do to somebody else. That was bad. It's not like they're catching up, so I'm not really worried, but... We are making a lot of errors with this card. Post them up. Post them up. Post them up. Go up. That's fine. He's not terrible. He does play like a weaker center. So if you went up against Shaq or somebody like that, you're not going to post them up. But you have good enough defense that at least on the defensive end, you can stop them just because of size a lot. So you have to think Porzingis is 7-3. Shaq is 7-1. Now, Shaq might have 99 strength, but that two extra inches in the much bigger wingspan will help you out in the end. On top of, he's a great rebounder. He's a semi-good passer. Well, in-game, in real life, he's all right. He's pretty good. But, for Zingus, with everything that I, I know that he can do, he's just, he's, he's too good not for you to pick him up. And it's not like, oh, he's a nick or anything. No, Porzingis is a glitch in 2K. And there will never be a time, other than his lower-rated cards, where I wouldn't recommend it. So, I'll come back when we hit 60 points. And I'll compare all the cards and tell you where I rate each card and which of these cards is the most important and which ones you could skip. We hit 60 points. As you can see, Bridgman, J.R. Smith, and Brzingis all have their 20. So, I was able to score about... The same with everybody except for Bridgman did get quite a few more inside shots. Porzingis and J.R. Smith both made four threes. So, on that end, I didn't shoot a lot with Bridgman. Now, how would I rate these guys in order from worst to best? If I'm going worst to best, I'm putting this Bridgman card dead worst. And the reason is 
the Ben Gordon from the set that you need to get him, to me, is better than him. Like, Ben Gordon is a solid shooter with good enough defense. This Bridgman, to me, doesn't have great defense, can't really shoot, and he's pretty much only a driver. But Ben Gordon can also drive, so why would you get go and set up all of them players just to get him? In the middle spot, which, I don't know, they could... For my top two, obviously, there's only two left. Could be interchangeable. It depends on what you're, whether you're using them and what you currently have. If you have a God Squad, the J.R. Smith card is good enough to run on most people's God Squads. Not going to front any day of the week. And the Porzingis card is also pretty good, even if you have all of the best centers in the game. I would say Porzingis is my current best center power forward. So, if you need more shooting you really could go with both but i just like jr smith's animations more mostly because big men to me don't really matter that much but porzingis just because of his size alone makes him a really good defender yeah, so we got this score with porzingis now so i would say get jr smith first just because of how good he is and you don't have to do very much to get him in the first place oh jeez, porzingis stop being weak Push him in. Post fade. Oh, post hook. Yeah, I would say get J.R. Smith first, Porzingis second. You don't really need to get this Bridgman card unless you are a card collector, which I'm not a card collector. I just get everything that I want, which is most of the cards within reason. I'm not spending three, four hundred K for anything. I'm not spending two hundred K. I'll spend a hundred K, but that card has to be pretty good. Like if I could get that, what is it, diamond or pink diamond, uh, who is it? Um, John Wall. I would get that card. Pull it. But, as it stands, J.R. Smith is the best. Porzingis is number two. And Bridgman is skippable. Very, very skippable. It's not like there's anything bad about him. There's just other cards that are better. And for me, if there's cards better than you, and I have to spend so much to get you... Like, Bridgman's worth more than I paid for J.R. Smith and Porzingis together. I could still go and get another... I think I might... Yeah, I'd still be able to get another J.R. Smith. So I could get two J.R. Smiths and a Porzingis for the price of this Bridgman. Pump. Jab. Pull it. And that's why you should get him. He can, he can make whatever he wants. So that's my review for all of these guys, and we are going to be getting the BJ. I can't think of his name. BJ something. I'll see, because we just finished it. I'm surprised there wasn't a challenge for that, like get blocks or assist or something. BJ Armstrong. So, tomorrow we will do a BJ Armstrong video. Oh, we get to pick our card. Watch, we're not going to get him. I only got the first card. And I don't remember who it was. And I literally got him on the second chance of doing him, which was like five picks or something. And he's the only one I've gotten. And this is like season four or five, so... It's not a flex because I don't use the card that they gave. If I get this just because I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to have to start like praying that I'm getting the board when I'm talking to you guys because I don't really need that Bill Walton card but would it be cool to get him yeah I'd probably throw him in and review him in another video all right let's do it let's do it this card now you're probably saying no pick this one Okay. Nope, that wasn't it. Now you're probably saying this one right here. Okay, you're probably saying go down more. That was a little bit too high. So we'll go with this one. Three extra picks. You guys were right. Now you're probably saying, okay, you got to make it more like a box. All right, we'll pick that one. Double multiplier. So you're probably saying this one right here. Now you're probably saying you got to pick a corner. All right, which one's the farthest from the corner? This one. Darn, now you're probably saying I need to pick something on that right wall right here. That's not it. Maybe it's right here. Jeez, when am I going to pick this thing? This one? If it's not that one, it's got to be this one. 
This one right here. No! Boys, this is probably feeling like it's taking forever. It feels like it's forever for me, too. It's gotta be this one right here. This one, this one right here. Alright, it's gotta be this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't care about that one. Alright, it's gotta be up in one of these upper cards. I don't know which, which, which one it is. I'm guessing this one. It's gotta be this one. No, it's not that one. We did get a million picks, though. And we're close to this Nicholas Batum. If you want a review on this Robert Covington or this Nicholas Batum, just ask. I am going to do a Kimball Walker review. I like Kimball Walker as a person. In the game, I don't like him just because of size. His shot is good and everything, but I just can't do a lot with him. So, come back for the next video. Let's see if Ben Simmons is going for cheapy cheap. Maybe. Put a bit up of... 30. LBJ. We're not spending 200k. I don't care. No, I'm not spending over 100k. I don't care. I have that other Tracy McGrady card and I don't like him. <gasps> we got him for 8,000, boys. 8,000. Are we going to use him? Probably not. I, like, if I run into a lot of people online using him, I'll probably put him deep bench. But I don't think I ever want to use this card because it's just too cheesy. It is lit that we got the card, though. All right, so come back for the next video when we're reviewing two more cards. We're going to review the two Amethysts that you can get from the spotlight so far. BG Armstrong and Fred Van Fleet. So come back for the next video. Peace.